Hi everyone, my name is Tom and I'm one of the developers of Cyber Launch Tycoon and currently I'm working on a new game called New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon which is a management game where you build food booths on the bridge, you produce your own ingredients or you can buy them from others or the city itself, you can control the market and the goal is to monopolize the bridge and drive out the competition. The plan for this week was the following. I have no idea what this word is. To marketplace, factory, sell, Right, 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 stop, stop. I'm gonna take it from here. So, what we did. I added a few outlines for the shops and factories. So now when you hover over them, you can see that this is interactable. Same for the factories. And when you buy something and you own it, it will be highlighted for you. So previously I had the issue that there were so many shops and you couldn't figure out which one is yours. So here it's not gonna be highlighted because it's not mine. Here it is highlighted because it is mine. Next, I also added this thing. If you notice the sign, when the player buys it, it colors it to the color of the player. This is another thing that I added so the player can understand what belongs to them and what doesn't belong to them. Because again, there was just a bunch of factories or shops and you just couldn't distinguish what's yours, what's not yours. So this is something. It's, th it's still a work in progress, this is only for, for now. But, uh, but yeah, we will, we will see how it goes. Another thing that I fixed that occurred when I was testing the game with my friends is that there can be a condition where both players are trying to buy the same shop and when one of them buys the shop, the other one gets locked in that state. Now if someone is looking at the shop, other players cannot enter that, that shop. So it only allows one person at a time. It's like the old Minecraft chests where only one person could open it at a time and the others had to wait for that player to finish in, in order to go in. And the last big update I did this week was to add the city to the marketplace. So now you can finally buy ingredients from the city itself and you don't have to support your competition. The goal is that the city prices are gonna be more expensive. So in the beginning you will have to buy it from the city, but as you progress in the game, other players will be able to sell their ingredients cheaper and you'll have the option to either buy it cheaper from another player and support that player, your competition, or you can buy it from the city. And the final option is to uh, buy your own factories and produce these ingredients yourself, which is the main goal. So that was the changes for the game. Outside of that, I also tried streaming again, which felt pretty nice. We had a few famous people popping up in chat. And before I wrap up, I decided that at the end of each devlog, I'm gonna show how much wishlists I have. This is as a transparency for, for you, the viewer, and gonna give me a nice way to see how the game grows over time. And the people who also thinking about game dev can can see like the real numbers behind the scene not everyone are sharing them but like i don't i don't mind so yeah thank you for watching please wishlist new brooklyn bridge tycoon on steam and i will see you next time